Question 43. Wilkes Brick Museum, a private museum of more than 3,000 Lego box sets in Atlanta, GA, USA, is noticing intermittent network issues on a standalone VMware vSphere ESXi host and requests a backup administrator to execute a failover of all virtual machines to a second standalone VMware vSphere ESXi host that a replication job has previously been set to target. Initially, everything appears to work, but soon the operations team is receiving reports of conflicts of machine names. What could be the issue? Well, let's take a look here. This is a known issue in Windows Server 2016, Service Pack 5. Please patch your servers to avoid known issues. I mean, that seems like a bit of a stretch. I'm not sure that it even is a Service Pack 5 for Windows Server 2016, so... Uh, yeah, let's, let's just call this a distractor. After failover has been executed, a sysprep must be performed on all Windows-based virtual machines to avoid machine name conflicts. Well, what could cause a machine name conflict? That there are more than one machine with the same name on the network. That's what causes this. So running a sysprep would change it to a new name, but why are there two machines with the same name on the network right now? So I'm going to say this as a distractor. If, if you've had a chance to sit the uh, Veeam Availability Suite Configuration Management Training, then you should have also gone through the lab exercises where we actually do a failover and so on. And, 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 and during the class, that there's no sysprep at all performed. So you would notice that this is not needed. After a failover has been executed, a permanent failover must also be performed to avoid machine name conflicts. No, absolutely not. Because what is it that the permanent failover does? It basically uh, makes sure that the snapshots or restore points on the replica are all consolidated. So it's now officially the uh, original VM. And uh, it's added as an exclusion to the original replication job. It, it doesn't actually process anything inside the machine itself. So this this is clearly not the right answer. The replica host is also experiencing network issues. Well, we could say that that's the case, but uh, just because it's offline on a network doesn't mean it's suddenly getting into some conflict with itself. And then we have the top one. Network issues on the original host have been resolved. Now, if you think about the, the talk we had down here, what would that mean? It means we have the <clears throat> replication host where the virtual machine is up and running. It has, let's say, the name server 01. The original host where the machine was offline, the network issues have been solved. So that machine server 01 is now also on a network with the same IP, same name on two different hosts now. That would definitely be causing these conflicts of machine names. So I'm going to go with network issues on the original host have been resolved. And of course, we could have avoided this by making sure that the uh, original VM had been powered off, and then uh, we execute the failover. 